Oh, today you're in for a treat because today we're going to be making beef short ribs in the Instant Pot. So buckle up, get your ingredients ready, or get a notepad to write down what you need. And here we go. We're going to need garlic powder, beef short ribs, a tomato, celery, carrots or parsnips. We prefer carrots, but we didn't have any in the refrigerator. Onion, jalapeno, black, fresh black pepper, and garlic, four cloves, and onion powder. I'm just gonna make really big cuts on the onion. It's not, there's no need to make them bigger than or smaller than that. And I'm gonna get garlic. So we have onions, we have garlic, and these are so easy to crush. A rough cut also with these because all this is gonna go into a sauce. Jalapeno pepper. I'm just gonna make these nice little slices. Why? Because I love the flavor of the jalapeno pepper. And I am not gonna take this in, because <coughs> it is spicy. We are going to brown them in our instant pot. Here we go, one second, almost done. Instant pot, instant pot. If you don't have an instant pot, well, um, you need one. All right, as you can see, the oil has pulled away from the center of the instant pot, which means that it is ready to saute. We're gonna put uh, the meat side down, uh, bone side up. There we go. All three pieces. And we're gonna let it uh, brown for about three minutes per side. So, see you in a little bit. All right, that's been three minutes on these. Look, it just comes right off, and that's what you want. You want it nice and brown, and yeah, focus it on it. You want it nice and brown like that, okay? That's what you're looking for. And I'm putting it on to one side. One side. All right, all right. So we have done our three minutes on each side. Our beef is nice and brown. That is brown, ladies and gentlemen. If your beef is not like that, it's not brown. I've seen a lot of folks on YouTube talk about how they need to brown their beef and they don't, they stop just before it's brown. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of uh, chicken broth. Now I am going to deglaze the bottom with a wooden spatula. It doesn't have to be wooden, but I like wooden um, just because uh, I don't know why, I just like wooden. At this point, what I like to do is turn off the uh, Instant Pot. We don't have to have it on as we deglaze. We want to make sure that every little bit of the of the fond has been removed from the bottom. Otherwise, the Instant Pot will show an error as we're cooking and it will stop its action. If it stops its action, uh, well, you're SOL. You will not know where you are as you're you know, off on a Zoom meeting somewhere. You won't know how many minutes have been cooking, has the meat been cooking. So make sure you have all that fond off the box, off the bottom. How fond is this? Hey, I'm very fond of you. I know, don't, don't, don't judge. Almost. It doesn't take too long. A little patience and you get the fond off the bottom. Now it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. Jalapeno peppers. Tomatoes. Jalapeno peppers. All the garlic that we cut. Celery, love the celery. Now, the water coming to a boil is so important because now the uh, the cooking time will take less time. Well, the, the pot will take less time to get to the right temperature to create steam. And my three beef is in, and we're going to put in one bay leaf. Now. Don't worry about anything. It is going to be just fine. We're gonna put this on, close it, put it on steam. We are going to press the pressure cook and we're gonna set it for 45, between 45 and 50 minutes. So we're gonna do 45. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot uh, the black pepper. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of this in. Very good with some cold water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm gonna make a slurry. Come on. 
I'm going to dissolve this because this is what I'm going to use to thicken my sauce. Let's remove our meat nice and carefully because um, this really is fall off the bone tender. Kitchen towel. And pour out our juice here. Very good. Now that we got the vegetables out of the way, we're going to put our juice back into the bowl. Turn it on to saute once again. Brilliant. Now we got it up to boiling and it's time to add our slurry. Keep it moving and then add slowly, slowly. And the longer it stays here, the thicker it'll get. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for another couple of seconds while it boils. There it goes, boiling. I'm gonna turn it off and just let the residual heat continue to thicken up our sauce. With the fresh bowl of rice that I made, jalapeno rice, recipe is uh, in one of, my other, one of my other videos. I am going to use this as the bed for the beef ribs. Beautiful beef short ribs. They smell amazing. And I don't know how long I can wait until I try these. So here goes. Let's, I'm gonna try the rice with the, the gravy first. Oh, amazing. So again, the rice is a jalapeno rice. So it has a spicy tone to it. And as far as the meat goes, let's, let's pull it apart. No knife. As you can see, no knife. Mm. Extremely tender. As you can see, no knife, just for tender. Pulled it off. Very delicious, savory. I took, I taste the jalapenos in the beef itself. Oh my goodness, let's try another one. No knife. Did I say no knife? Mm. This is a must for any household, super easy, instant pot, amazing. Rice and beef short ribs. Mm. The recipe for, for cold days, like right now, December, super good. Thanks for dropping in. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, and tell your friends about this channel. If this is more than your second time to this channel, then you should really consider subscribing. This is probably God telling you, you know what? You need to subscribe to this channel. Well, thanks so much. If you haven't already, go ahead and leave a message below. Tell me what you think about this recipe. Tell me what you would like to see in a future recipe. I'd love to help you out. And again, if you like this recipe, another thing you can do is maybe buy me a cup of coffee. The description, the information is in the description below. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming in and watching this channel. And until next time, mi cocina es tu cocina. See ya.